Hello, this is Andreas from Predictera. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Vince to start exploring and analyzing the spectral data in your image files. In the data tree, you will find the data set for imported image file. Drag and drop the X training to the plot area and then select to generate an RGB image. You will now get an image that is a visualization of your imported image file as a pseudo RGB image based on three spectral channels. In the settings menu on the right, you can see the default spectral bands used for red, green, and blue color. The scale for the X and Y axis of your image is in pixels. And if you move your mouse around your image, you will get a tooltip info showing you the pixel coordinates for the X, Y, and Z, which is the absorbance value. Let's drag and drop the X training again from the data tree. This time we'll select to generate a spectral plot. As you can see, the image and the spectral plot are linked. And if you move the cursor around in the RGB image, the spectral plot will show the profile for the selected pixel. By holding down left mouse button, and making a selection of several pixels, a representative sample of up to around 50 spectral profiles from this selection will be displayed in the spectral plot. By holding down the control key on your keyboard, you can make several selections. The three vertical lines in the spectral plot are showing you the three spectral bands that are used to generate the pseudo RGB image color. By dragging these lines, you can change the bands that are used. In the settings menu for the spectral plot, you can select to visualize the average spectra of a region rather than for each pixel. Drag and drop the X training again from the data tree. And this time let's select to generate a contour 2D plot. The coloring here is based on the intensity of a single wavelength. By dragging this vertical line in the spectral plot, you can change the wavelength that's being used for the coloring. In a settings menu, we can change the coloring being used for this control plot to be grayscale. In this way, we can clearly see the difference between the pixels when looking at absorbance in a single wavelength. 